I had some questions about the IEC 736 display and uh, some people were wondering how to replace the bulbs if you have a dim display. Now my display is plenty bright so I didn't really have to work on that but this is an opportunity to show you guys how to do that. If you've already taken uh, the board out you can, you can start here. Uh, if you haven't see my other video and, and you can see uh, exactly how to do that. When you have this board it looks like that coming out of the radio and all you have to do you might think you could pry this open with these little tabs but that doesn't give you anything because this plastic piece is trapped in by these contacts that are soldered you see that there's the uh, line of soldering you do not want to try to unsolder this i'm not even sure if it would be possible without a pretty large kill zone around here so what you have to do is be brave and gently pry this open like that okay and you see this is bending a little bit right here but that that may be acceptable considering what we're going to be able to do when you open it there is a, uh, a little sheet inside here here it is this is a diffuser if your diffuser is getting yellow this one is a little bit uh, go ahead and replace it it's the same material that you can find behind uh, LCD televisions so if you have an old crack TV or something where you see one you can take it apart pull this out and cut yourself a strip doesn't have to be measured precisely. It can rattle around in here, no problem. All right, so without that, then you look inside here, you can see the bulbs. One, two, three, four. We've got four bulbs, they're kind of long looking. You see that? And so you could try to salvage some similar bulbs, and put them in here. These are frosted, it's kind of interesting looking. I don't know how close I can get. See that? Make sure you can see that really good. Um, probably what most people will do though is, is put an LED in here. There's a better look at it. And uh, look at the back here. You can kind of see through it. It's just glass. It's very easy to illuminate. It wouldn't take much of a light to make this look pretty good. It's just my desk lamp here shining through it. If you were to put LEDs in, I would probably just unsolder these bulbs and you can do that by uh, heating it up on the back and pulling it out with tweezers right here. And then the top has these little holes here and you could use these to pass in uh, LED wires. Put some RGBs in there while you're at it and squeeze this back on. It probably won't squeeze perfectly on, but maybe you can get it to squeeze good enough. I don't know. Looks like it could be a bit of a challenge. Squeeze it really hard. Or, you know, maybe just glue it in. A little bit of super glue up here in the corners. Perhaps a clamp. Overnight until it, you know, dries there. That's all I can think of to do this. I mean, unsoldering this would be pretty difficult because it's all got to come out at the same time. I'm not saying you couldn't, but it would be rather difficult. So, yeah. I don't know, I kind of just squeezed it in there, but when it's in the radio, maybe, you know, put this guy over it like that and push it up against this display. I'm not sure what the best way to put that back in is once you've bent it like this. You have to think about that if you choose to go that route. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be difficult to make it go back but if it was angled like that it might not be too bad and I think when you push it in it might kind of straighten out there you go that's all for now 7-3